Hello and welcome friends. The next lecture in queuing theory and we are going to discuss another point in our discussion on basics of queuing theory and that is also a very important point the base of study of queuing theory and that is expected or average or mean service rate mean service rate this is also known as capacity to serve uh, what exactly is we can come to know about this on the basis of the average time the server takes to serve a customer again on the basis of any sophisticated method or technique or technology we can study the average time a server takes to serve one customer after knowing this we can easily calculate or find the service rate that is known as mu how suppose again on a teller counter a cashier takes 4 minutes we are going to suppose that a cashier takes 4 minutes on an average to serve a customer on the cashier's window or teller counter now what can be service rate for various possible values of specific time interval t suppose the time interval t is 1 hour so per hour the service rate will be 60 minutes 1 hour means 60 minutes since the rate or rather time of serving a customer is in minutes we have to convert the hour into minutes so the calculation will be 60 minutes divided by 4 minutes per customer simply the answer will be number of customers and that comes to 15 customers that means the service rate per hour in this example comes to 15 customers remember the previous lecture basics 1 arrival rate the rate of arrival was 12 and the rate of service here is 15 so capacity is more than the actual workload that is the ideal situation similarly if we are interested in studying all these for a time interval of half an hour that means t takes value half an hour or 30 minutes then the calculation will be 60 minutes divided by 4 minutes that will be per hour multiplied by half so it will be 7.5 Okay, actually there can never be 7.5 customers, but we know that this is ultimately a result of calculation. Mean can take any value out of the recorded values. Similarly, if we are interested in studying all these per shift of 8 hours, normally a shift is made up of 8 hours. Then again, the calculation is very simple, 60 minutes per hour divided by 4 minutes per customers. That will be number of customers per hour multiplied by 8 hours per shift then the result will be 120 customers per shift and so on t can take any specific value of a time interval and we can easily calculate the average or mean or expected service rate if we have the knowledge about the average time a server takes to serve one customer the important thing is in the study of queuing theory or queuing models, we believe or say we assume that the service time has exponential distribution with the average service rate of mu. In statistical methods, you must have studied the exponential distribution. If not, just go through its basic concepts. The matter will be very much clear for you. And the ultimate conclusion is if we take this not into consideration we can believe that or conclude that mu number of customers are served during a specific time interval t yes but the important thing is first we should have knowledge about the average time a server takes to serve one customer that's it thank you